Welcome to Data Doctor's video, Suggestion 851, JETCOM Uncleaned Interpret Date. Suggestion 851 is caused from a JETCOM import using a non-standard date format. In this event, a could not interpret date is added to the bio. A non-standard format includes being incomplete, has typos, includes punctuation, or is only alpha characters, such as died young. It needs to be day, abbreviated month, and four-digit year. The goal is to set the profile state, which is often already entered, and remove the could not interpret date. Here is the suggestion report for Joseph Kaiser. It shows two suggestions, 851 and 133. The info column for 851 shows the incomplete date. If we can find his date of birth, it will also resolve suggestion 133. As a caveat, there are no dates on relatives, as he was connected to the wrong mother, and I had to disconnect them. Here is the public view of Joseph's profile. You can see in the biography the birth is listed as September 8, with no year given. Just below that is could not interpret date and birth date, 8 September. There is one source given, a 1942 World War II draft record from Ancestry. We need to see if we can find that record on a free site and obtain the birth year from there. Go to the top right of the screen and hover over Joseph's WikiTree ID. At the drop-down menu, click on Research. Root Search gives us several sites to choose from. Let's try Family Search first, since it is a free site. Note, you have to be logged into that site first. Since we have no birth or death dates, we need to search for the one record we have. On his profile, the draft record says it was made in 1942 in Allen County, Ohio. On the left side of the Family Search page, click on Residence and add these two facts. Scroll to Restrict Records By, click on Type, and on the Open menu, check Military. Click Update. The first entry is for a Joseph Kaiser born on September 8th with no birth year. On the far right, click on the camera icon. The next screen shows the front of his registration card, which states that he was 64 years old. In 1942, that would make him born around 1878. Return to the Family Search page to refine our search. Add a birth year range of 1876 to 1880. Delete the residence place and uncheck Military under Restrict Records By. As before, click on Update. The fifth entry down shows a World War I draft registration for Joseph with a birth year of 1877. With these sources, return to Joseph's profile and click Edit. Enter the birth date and add the county and United States to the birthplace. Mark both certain. In the biography section, add the birth year of 1877 to September 8. Return to Family Search for the World War II record, clicking on the icon at the far right. On the draft record at the bottom right, click on Document Information. Copy citing this record. On the profile, replace the draft record from Ancestry with the one from Family Search. Delete the JEDCOM note. Add the subheading Military. Below that, add World War I and then World War II. Move the named reference from birth to the World War II fact. Put the cursor next to World War I and click on the Citation button above. Return to Family Search 
for the World War I record and, as before, copy the source citation. Paste it to the profile. Name the reference ref name equals WW1. Copy that tag and paste it next to birth. Add a forward slash at the end of the tag. Click on Preview to check your work. Make sure the inline citations are showing correctly, both in the Biography and Sources sections. Go to the middle of this screen and explain your changes. This is strongly recommended for all Wikitree users and is required for data doctors. For me, I identify myself as a data doctor, copy the suggested number and name, and explain what I changed. Save your work. Return to the Suggestions report, and on the far right, click on Status. On the Suggestion Status page, make sure your Wikitree ID is showing. Since Suggestion 133 has also been resolved, click Status for Related Suggestions. Next, of the five status options, choose one, in this case, Corrected. Leave a comment from the comment tents or make one of your own. I chose a comment and added to it. Click the Update Status button. The last screen shows the status history has recorded your changes. And you're done. Here is the suggestion report for Mary Farnsworth. It shows only one suggestion, 851, but for two facts, birth and marriage, as seen in the info column. Here is the public view of Mary's profile. You can see two places of could not interpret date, one in christening and one in marriage. That is because of the non-standard use of the month fully spelled out in the biography, even though the date of birth format is correct in the data section. Also, note that while the marriage date isn't next to her husband's name, it is in the biography. We need to do two things. The first is to add the marriage date in the data section. The second is to remove the could not interpret date messages in the biography. Click on edit. On the right of the screen, under her husband's name, click on edit marriage. On edit marriage information, add the date of 19 OCT 1789. Mark it as certain. The marriage place is already there. Click save marriage changes. You are returned to the profile where you can see the marriage information showing correctly in the data section. Click on edit again. In the biography section, delete the first could not interpret date message under christening. Delete the second date message under marriage. Click on preview to check your work. The could not interpret date messages are gone. Go to the middle of the screen and, as before, explain your changes. Save your work. Return to the Suggestions report and on the far right click on Status. On the Suggestion Status page, as before, choose a status. Leave a comment. Click the Update Status button. The last screen shows the status history has recorded your changes and you're done.